Hello everyone and welcome to Taste Test with Mike. Today I didn't I I didn't want anything earlier for lunch and then now it's getting closer towards dinner and I don't want to eat a big lunch. I've got some chicken in the crock pot and uh by the way it smells really good. Uh, and so anyway, uh I thought I would just have something kind of light you know there's not a whole lot to it so I thought I would try this I got this at grocery outlet for 50 cents that's cheap it doesn't go on a date till October 7th or something like that but um, it's a p3 portable protein pack um, I've seen these at Kroger's and Walmart by the way um, they're not gonna be 50 cents so they're probably closer to three bucks just guessing um, they might not be quite that much, but they're, they're not cheap, really. Um, I think you could probably, I have found uh, an Ibotta rebate before. I don't think they have one right now, though, but um, sometimes maybe they would run them on sale at Kroger. But, you know, at Walmart, there'd be whatever price they are. But you can find them. There's no problem in that. But anyway, this is the Turkey Bacon and Colby Jack one. Okay, so let's see what the nutrition facts are like. Okay, if you eat everything in it, uh, it's 180 calories. That's really not bad. Um, total fat, 13 grams. And I'm, I'm trying to uh, cut back a little bit on the amount of calories I'm getting in a day, uh, especially from eating late at night. I always have that problem. Anyway, total fat, 13 grams is 20%. 7 grams of saturated fats, 35%. There's no trans fat. 45 milligrams of cholesterol is 15%. 620 milligrams of sodium is 26%. Everything like this seems like it's kind of high. Uh, all those little dinners and stuff. Uh, total carbs, only 1 gram. That's 0%. No fiber, no sugar. 15 grams of protein, that's really good. That's quite a bit of protein for, for this amount. And uh, that is 30%. And it has vitamin A, 4%. Vitamin C, 4%. Calcium, 20%. Iron, 2%. So, it's not a whole lot of ingredients to each item in there. So, that's good. It says slow roasted turkey breast browned with caramelized sugar, fully cooked real bacon pieces, hickory smoke flavor added, and marbled Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. Turkey use has no artificial preservatives. And if there's anything else. Okay, I was trying to see if that was sugar, it said sugar. Sugar cherry powder, caramelized sugars. That's what it says. So just peel it off. Oh, the smell of that chicken's killing me in the crock pot. I put um, uh, a can of cream of mushroom and a can of cream of chicken and mixed them together. I put a pack of uh, ranch seasoning you know, ranch um, dressing mix. I put some Mrs. Dash and some garlic powder in it and a little bit of water. And I, I put the chicken in the bottom. All we have was tenders, but they'll work just fine. Then I put the liquid, I mix it all together and put it on top. And then we're going to, uh, Joy's going to make some mashed potatoes. So I'll probably do a short, but it'll come out before this video does. So you'll already know what we have. So anyway, here's what it looks like. Let me Put this down here for a bit. There's what it looks like. So let's try one of the turkey. That's good.
I love Colby Jack. Let's see, the bacon is what I'm wanting. Doesn't look like there's too much fat in it. A little bit. Hi, Kitty. I think you'll end up coming up here, probably. The bacon has good flavor to it. Let's try. Try one of each. Sorry, I'm using my fingers, but this is pretty much finger food. Mm. Oh, that's a way to do it, all three of them together. Mm. Mm. That is really good. So, yet, yeah, all of them together is just great. I was thinking the bacon wouldn't have been that, that great. I wonder, this is a Oscar Mayer. Okay, no wonder it's, the bacon's good. And like I said, I love Colby Jack cheese. So see, this is just enough to where I won't be full, you know, for dinner. No bread this way, too. What I say on the carbs, it was low on carbs, I think. I can't turn it over now. Let me see. How many carbs? No carbs. You see, I'm not having any bread with this, like I would have a sandwich a lot of times for lunch. So it's good that it's so low on carbs. Well, there's none. She just laid down. <laughs> She's probably wanting something to eat, but I'm surprised she didn't come up and check this out. Well, I love it. I really do. And I like that it doesn't have nuts in it. Lots of times it'll have nuts. And for me, for Logan, that's great. But for me, I can't eat but a couple of them. I'm not supposed to have them at all. I can have nut butters, but not. But I'm not supposed to eat nuts with with Crohn's disease. But this is a good little combination here. I really like it. Um, you know, it has to be refrigerated, so you, know, you couldn't exactly just take it with you somewhere where you didn't have any refrigeration. But a great thing if you if you're late for lunch, like I didn't. I was busy trying to get my phone. My comments have been all messed up, and I'm really now super behind, which I was I didn't think I was behind until I saw all the comments that go all the way from the last 10 months that I don't know what happened with YouTube. And I know it's happened to other people too. But uh, so I just kind of missed lunch time, and then now it's too late. It's like 4.30 right now. And if I ate a whole sandwich or something like that, I just wouldn't be hungry. And it would ruin the nice dinner we're planning on. So, so like I said, this is perfect amount to where I want, you know, get full. I mean, overly full. I mean, you could have something with this, I guess, you know, and make it, you know, if you were hungrier, hungrier than I am today. But um, I like it just fine the way it is. It's plenty for for just a. Something to tide me over, I guess, would be the word I'm looking for. So, so y'all ought to try it. I mean, like I said, this uh, the Colby and the turkey just perfect together. Really good. Mmm. Joy has some uh, ramen noodles, or she would probably want some of this, but she that did her plenty, gave her plenty to eat.
she had. I'm surprised she had that, but she got hungry today. It's a little windy. All right, everybody. I guess that's it. That's about all I can say about it. I give it a five out of five for sure. I highly recommend this one. You know, I don't know. I hadn't tried a whole lot of them. I've tried uh, one of the ones. I don't know if it's a different brand. Had nuts in it. You know, like I was saying. But um, this one in particular is really good. The flavor is really good with all those. So I hope y'all enjoyed this taste test with Mike. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope YouTube has a problem with comments um, taken care of because it's really put me behind. Uh, I, I got done real early last night and I was like, something is wrong, you know, with my comments. Then when I went on this morning, YouTube studio, there was like, I don't know how many, hundreds, I guess. So I'll be doing the best I can on that. I hope they don't mess up again. It's getting really windy for some reason. I, maybe it's going to blow in some more rain. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great day and God bless.